All right, so if you watched this video, hopefully you watched my top seven most difficult drum songs by White Stripes. And hopefully you also know who the White Stripes are. So I'm just gonna, whatever, past all that, whatever, we're just gonna talk about Meg White right now and why I think she is the most overrated, <laughs> why she is the most, why she is the most overrated drummer of all time. <laughs> Saying that sentence is ridiculous to me. I've been going crazy for the last 10 years on what on this phenomenon, this phenomenon in drum and music culture community. I've been going insane. I feel like I'm on the butt end of an inside joke. Cause you, you can talk about most any drummer albeit like Neil Peart, uh, John Bonham. You can talk about any drummer, Chad Smith, Ringo Starr, Phil Collins. You talk about them to 10 people, one person is gonna have something negative to say. One person's gonna rag on them till, it, from dawn to dusk. But you bring up Meg White to anyone. You bring up Meg White, and they say, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> People praise her, and they, they they hardly ever say anything negative about her, which is insane to me. Rolling Stone published an article titled "100 Greatest, 100 Greatest Drummers of All Time." That was in 2016. 100 Greatest Drummers of All Time. Who's at 94? Meg White. The picture is there and everything. We're not, this isn't another Meg White in some other band. This is the Meg White from White Stripes. The one who played drums on every White Stripes album is 94 in 100 greatest drummers of all time. Is that not insane? Am, is that not crazy? Y'all wanna hear, y'all wanna hear some drummers that placed lower than Meg White? How about Larry Mullen Jr., <laughs> Cindy Blackman, Lenny Kravitz Santana, Steven Adler, Guns N' Roses, 98, Travis Barker, 99? Travis, I get it. Travis Barker is one of the most controversial drummers of all, uh, uh, likely of all time. I think he's great. I think he deserves to be top 50. But let's not talk about my crappy opinions about Blink-182 right now. These are drummers that ranked lower than Meg White. How is that possible? You wanna know what else? This isn't the only list. YouDiscoverMusic.com released a list of the best drummers of all time, 100 legendary, legendary musicians you need to know. Number 97, Meg White. How? How is that possible? How? Who's under her? Oh, you know, just Les Banks. Judas Priest. Oh, you know, just Les Banks. It's just insane. Because I think we all know that if it weren't for Jack White, we, none of us would have known Meg White at all. She could have drummed in any other band with any other person and we would have never cared about her. Even if the band was successful, <laughs> we would still say, eh, I mean, yeah, the band's great, but you know, Meg White's just, you know. So I just want to know why, 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 why? Tell me why Meg White is so highly acclaimed. I don't understand. I listened to the entire discography. So I'm not, it's not ignorance, all right? I listened to every single song for that top seven list and it's, it's all the same. She hits the notes with Jack White. Do, ka, do, ka, do, ka, do, ka, ka. 
she hits the nose with Jack White, or she just hits a but 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 just an establishing beat. That's all she does. First of all, what makes a great drummer? It's either one of or a combination of skill, uh, performance, how much they can you know entertain someone, or influence whether on other drummers or on the songs that they perform on, or even on music, if it gets that crazy. That's why Keith, it, John Bonham's always number one, because he basically made every other drummer that plays today. That's why Keith Moon is always in the top five, because he is one of the most entertaining drummers to watch, and his parts are crazy. And that's why Neil Peart is always in the top five, because he has a very refined technical skill that is hard matched. So let's let's break it down. Skill. We know she's not a skillful drummer. That's fine. You don't need to be technical or fast to be a good drummer. You can play drums for three months and you could be a fantastic drummer. If you play for the song, and you, if you play for the song, that's what makes a fantastic drummer is a drummer who plays for the song. You could have played for 10 years, you could play in 15 bands, and if you're just showing off the whole time, you're not a good drummer. You're just doing it for yourself. You don't care about the song at all. That's a bad drummer. Meg White does not have skill. She does play for the song but the only reason it works is because of Jack White. It is of no trait of her own that this music works. She's doing none of the heavy lifting. It's all Jack White. So I'm, boop, boop, that's gone. I'm not, I'm not touching that anymore. Influence. Has she had an influence on other drummers or even the songs that she performed on? No, the easy answer is no. It's obviously no. If anyone comes up to you and says, hey, I'm a drummer, my favorite drummer, my, the, the drummer I take off most is Meg White, you run away from him, because <laughs> he can't work with that. Jack White has praised Meg for how simply she drums for, he said she's like a caveman, and that he loves how raw and powerful she is, that's fine, you can do that and still hit an upbeat. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. If you want an example of this, just look at any of Jack White's new stuff. It, it, especially the first album. It's pretty simple as far as the beat goes. It's nothing too complex. But you hear these little intricacies, these little subtleties that move the song along so much more. You can't look at me and tell me that any of Jack White's music, any of his solo stuff would be improved with Meg White's drumming. You can't tell me Lazaretto would be better with Meg White on drums. You can't tell me that that black fat licorice would be better with Meg White on drums. You can't even fathom to me Boarding House Reach would even be feasible as a concept as a possibility with Meg White in the room. It's just not, it's just not a possibility. And if you need more proof, just take this quote from Jack White. He says in an interview, there's a case to be made that in a lot of ways, the White Stripes is Jack White solo. In a lot of ways. There's only two people in the band. I was writing and producing and conducting. The melodies are coming from one person, the rhythm is coming from Meg. He just says it right there. He says it right there that Meg had nothing to do with the production or making of any of the songs. Jack White probably came up with something that he knew Meg White could play over and they did it. Meg White had nothing to do with the songs of the White Stripes and she has absolutely no influence or legacy amongst modern drummers today. So what about performance? This is actually the 
part of Meg White that I will praise is that she was a pretty good performer. She, she had her own style. She had her own energy for sure that I don't think I've seen on any other drummers. She could be both kind of relaxed. She would do this a lot. She would kind of <laughs> like a, like a, like a whale coming up from the water and like a dolphin that comes up to do a flip. She would kind of raise her chest whenever she would do something, kind of popping out her chest. But she could also move away from that suave swagger into a rough, raw, headbanging intensity live. And it's, it's pretty fun to watch. But, you know, watch a live video and see how much of the video focuses on Meg. <laughs> Whatever Meg's doing, Jack is doing something ten times more interesting. It's, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. She's not skillful enough to evolve the songs any further, to progress the songs any further than they were. She has had no influence over other drummers or her own songs. Her performance was all right but it's not something that would get you into a top 100 greatest drummers list. So after all that, I, I, I challenge you, please, please, somebody tell me that I'm wrong and that everyone thinks this way I do. Everyone thinks the same way I do, that Meg White does not deserve any praise. Please give me your argument defending Meg White do it in the comments or don't don't even do it in the comments I don't care like DM me on Twitter it, 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 just anywhere anyone anything tell me why Meg White deserves to be number 94 on 100 greatest drummers of all time Rolling Stone tell me why she deserves to be on that more than Darren King of Mute Math or Thomas Pridgen or Nathan Camarina of Chon. Just, just find some argument and prove me wrong. I'm going crazy. If you stuck through that entire thing, thank you for watching. I've had that on my plate for about 10 years and I've finally finally got it off my shoulders. I'm done. I'm done dissing Meg White. Ringo Starr.